My name is Sheila Hill. I'm an intuitive life coach and a spiritual guide. This video is part three in a small series of videos I decided to do today only because when I first started to do the video I was like I don't know where to start and where to end to make sure that this video doesn't end up being two hours long. <laughs> so I kind of broke it down into three subjects. Part one is that there is talking about how we are all interconnected and that we are collectively the one having a consciousness experience here on the planet. It really sets the foundation for you to really begin to understand how interconnected we all are and how what you are feeling and experiencing and going through in your own personal physical reality may or may not even be yours. The next video, part two, is all about how to offer yourself a little more ease and grace and how to release yourself, or my advice is to release yourself from expecting anything that is normal um, to be a part of your reality for now. That the unnormal is the new normal and ease and grace is the only bare minimum way to get through this incredible transformation. So this brings me to my third video, which is going to talk a little bit about timelines and an energy update. Currently, and we have for some time, but it will currently um, continue <clears throat> well into probably till the end of the year. We are being inundated with incredible amounts of light codes, ascension light codes. They're coming in through the Grand Central Sun, through our planetary sun, light codes. We are receiving them from our intergalactic families of light, the angelics. All of the beings that are so incredibly highly invested in this global ascension event that we are going through in our current reality that is now. These light codes are an accumulation and as they accumulate will be what is considered that many people in spiritual communities have talked about the grand social so, so, solar flash event. So <clears throat> there may or may not be a solar flash event that is transformational on or around December 21st. Depending on where you are in your own personal ascension timeline, as far as how much light you are currently holding, you may or may not even feel this. It is being dispersed and dripped for humanity on sort of a slower pace rollout um, as a, a flash event that is sort of taken and extrapolated out into a third dimensional timeline so that we have time to integrate the light, transmute our own density at a cellular DNA level, and transmute the light, the density into light that is happening on the collective plane as well. So we are currently in the solar flash event. That's what's happening every minute, every now of every now from now until at least the end of the year, probably going into the first quarter of 2021. What does that mean? <clears throat> well, it means that the energies are moving very, very, very quickly, which I understand from a third dimensional point of view that a day only still has 24 hours and a week still only has seven days. I get that. I get that our reality from a third dimensional perspective has really not changed. But the energetics that drive our reality behind that lens are moving very, very quickly. So we are jumping timelines constantly, individually, constantly, and as a collective as well. So our individual timelines all plug into a hive mind that becomes the manifester of a collective reality. <clears throat> I'm not going to get too much into that today, just a brief understanding that that's how it works. So our timelines are shifting, which is making holding on to normal, who you were five minutes ago, what was normal to that version of you, um, is no longer relevant in this new timeline you find yourself in five minutes later. Now, I'm being silly, maybe, when I say five minutes. Could be five hours, could be from day to day, that every day you find yourself a little discombobulated 
a little ungrounded, a little uncertain, um, <clears throat> lacking clarity, grounding, certainty, understanding, anchoring. Um, everything kind of feels a little bit off and it feels off all the time. And that's because we're shifting timelines so quickly and that the energies are moving so quickly. So to make any kind of plans or long-term decisions about where you're going to live, what job you're going to do, where you might be vacationing, any sort of planning that you're trying to do is going to be very difficult during this period of time because the version of you that was supposed to do that thing may only exist for 24 hours. And then a new version of you is being rebirthed into the new energies as the timeline shifts in your reality, which may also be a collective timeline shift. That means that that version of you, the new version of you, is meant to do something entirely different. Work in a different place, live in a different place, do a different thing, show up in the world in a different way. So everything is really, really fluid and really fast right now. So again, going back to the message from my previous video, letting go of what you think normal is and trying to be normal and do normal things and plan normal ways of being the way you've always known it to be is only going to create more suffering. When you can go into as many now moments as possible with an open heart, eyes open wide, and a childlike wonder of, oh, who am I am? Who am I today? What is today going to unfold for me? Who, who do I need to meet? Who do I need to talk to? How do I fulfill this reality that I find myself in in this now moment? Because I know that it's fleeting and that this timeline by tomorrow or a week from now is going to be gone and a new version of me will be rebirthed from an energetic place with a whole new potential of other things. So sort of approach it with a little bit of childlike enthusiasm and let go of what you think normal should be. The added benefit to the fact that we are shifting timelines so quickly and that the energies are moving so fast right now means that <clears throat> doing your own inner work, it, it's, it can be really, really quick. The days of, well, I need to, to contemplate and I need to observe and then I need to journal for a couple of months and then I need to like meditate for a little while and you know I'm going to work with my crystals and I have to have a bunch of coaching sessions with Sheila. Whatever it is that made the idea of the healing journey be so long and slow and arduous, those times have pretty much gone. The guides are saying like chop, chop. Like we don't, we don't have time for you to take the slow-mo route on this. So awarenesses and needs for healing, trauma, woundings, past energies and experiences that you've had that are sort of holding you back and keeping you, you can't be stuck, but if, from a linear perspective, I'll use that word, keeping you stuck in the old you, those times have all gone and those, the, 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 the healings and the potential to shift through that stuff really quickly is being afforded to everyone right now. Those of us, and I mean, I've only been on this path for seven years when I started healing myself in a really deep way. Um, but there are people that have been on this spiritual healing, personal evol evolution path for their whole lives for 20, 30, 40 years. They all had to do it the slow way. I found in a lot of ways I had to do it the slow way. <laughs> and that's not what's required anymore. If you have your own personal inner work to do, or perhaps you wake up one morning and you're really grieving a relationship, or you're really finding that there's a heaviness within you, that something is coming up that needs to be looked at and healed and released, by that afternoon or the next day, you can be looking back going, I don't know what that was. And then you're moving on. Or you're like, wow, I can't believe that that cleared so fast. I feel fantastic. Take advantage of those opportunities and be mindful that your own programming, that doing the work needs to be slow and arduous, doesn't keep you sort of in that loop. If something comes up and you know that it's yours, be with it journal, cry, whatever it is that you need to do, 
and then just go, okay, that's it, it's done, I've done it. And you will find that the energies absolutely support that sort of mentality, that shift. It came up, I acknowledged it, I was with it for a minute, 10 minutes, an hour, half a day, whatever it is, and now I am choosing consciously to let it go and I'm moving forward. And you will find that most of the time, whatever it is that you are experiencing or that is coming up for healing for you, that that sort of mentality will work and it will be supported. So <clears throat> solar flash is happening now until the end of the year and likely into the early part of 2021. Stop reaching for normal. Um, the timeline's shifting very, very quickly. It requires you to be okay with living a very fluid existence um, because not being in that sort of fluidity of time is only going to create your own suffering. Um, and then if you have personal work that you're doing, know that you are being supported now. I know I always say this because you're always being supported, but you're being supported more now than you have ever, ever been before. And it can be fast. So be mindful of what programs you are running um, and belief systems that you hold around healing taking a long time because that is not the case. Just want to leave you at the end of this video with a couple of things that will really help is what I call sort of resets. So as the energies shift throughout your day in your reality, the energies are fast, timelines are always shifting, you are going through a cellular rewrite at a DNA level in your body. There's a lot going on um, that require you to sort of anchor in the new expressions often. So quantum heart breath technique, there's a video on it itself in my YouTube. I talk about it in part two of this video series. You just hold your heart, that resets the, the, the neurology in your body. You take a deep breath, cleansing breath, deep into the heart space, that brings you into the present moment. And then you say, whatever, I am safe, I am loved, I remember who I am, I love the parts of me that are whatever, anxious, pissy, grumpy, whatever it is. Um, that grounds you and anchors you fully into that now moment. Because if too many now moments, you know, like if you're on an escalator, if too many now moments get away from under your feet, when you do land, you're going to be like all like, whoa, I don't understand what's going on. Who am I? What am I? What's happening? So as often as you can, ground yourself into that moment. The heart breath is an incredibly potent for a number of different reasons. It's my favorite technique. Getting out in nature where you're reconnecting yourself in with Mother Gaia, incredible. Drinking lots and lots of water. Um, of course, meditation when you can. And meditate from the perspective of not leaving the body and going into the astral for experiences like we used to. Meditate for the purpose of getting back into your body. So that's just a few techniques that I wanted to offer that will really help you not feel so kind of discombobulated all the time. I think that's everything I have to offer for this energy update at this moment. We are going through an incredible collective event. Um, while I know and I am experiencing myself that there are days and times and now moments that are really challenging to get through. I'm going through it too. Our biggest gift that we can give ourselves is that ease and grace and the, the idea and the remembrance that there is something incredibly magical that is happening right now. And it's why we are here. It is why your soul signed up to have this journey it's because you wanted to experience it. It's because wherever you go next, you want to look back and go, I was there then. I was a part of that. It was part of my body that alchemized some of that density for the collective. I experienced what it was like to live in a higher dimensional experience. It is so incredibly magical when you think about the entire process 
and we are here now and we are going to see both sides. This is just the crunchy part. So I hope that this video series helps. Um, if there's anything else you would like to know, ask your questions in the comments. I'm happy to do more videos. I'm happy to show up more often if there's an interest. And I am sending you so much love and compassion and understanding and ease and grace in this now moment and in every moment. Much love to you all. Until the next time, bye-bye.